Hello everyone, I'm back again today to tell you more about 3D solids. Yesterday we talked about the rectangular prism and the cube. And we made the cube out of flat squares and we made the rectangle out of flat rectangles. And now today I have these three solids to share with you. Now I bet you can look at these three solids and know why they're different from these two and see what they might have in common. There's something really special about these three. I think you know what it is. If you look really closely, these three solids have curves. They have curved faces all around and curved edges. So they are made a little bit differently than these ones are. These don't have any curves on them. These have edges and points and flat faces. These have some curves. And if I were to place the solid on its curve, it would be, it would start to roll. But if I place it on this flat part, it can sit upright. And this one here, this one, I've had to make a little stand for it because it doesn't have any flat parts at all. So if I put it down, it starts to roll away. So I want to make sure that that doesn't get away on us. So that's why I've got it on a little stand, but it is exactly like a ball. It doesn't have any flat parts at all. It's all curved. Now these flat parts here, I wonder if you recognize the shape of those flat faces. You're right, they're circles. So I can take a flat circle and put it over that face here. And you can see that those flat faces, this is called a face here, it is a circle. And this also has circles on it. One circle on the bottom and one circle on the top. So these two solids have circles on them. This one here, like I said before, this one doesn't have any shapes on it, no flat shapes on this one. Now for the very most important part, what are the names of these? So let's start with this one here. It's got that circle on the bottom and then it's got a curved edge a, or a curved face that wraps around to a point at the top. If I hold it like this, it may look more familiar to you. What does it look like? That's right, it looks like the bottom of an ice cream cone. So it's called a cone. This one here is called a cone. It has one circle on the bottom, curved edge, and then comes to a point at the top. This one here, this one's got a little trickier name. This one has a circle on the top and bottom and then a nice big curved face here so it can roll around as well or stand flat. This is called a cylinder. And a real life object that looks like a cylinder might be a can of soup that, look all, that looks like a cylinder. And so when you see that word on your page, now it starts with a soft C, you'll remember that from Miss Shaw, that word says cylinder and this is called a cylinder. So you're looking for those two circles on the top and bottom when you look for a cylinder and it can sit on its top or bottom or it can be on its side and that would it, some, it, it, it can stay like this or it can roll. And so that's the cylinder. And then this one here that looks like a ball, this one is called a sphere. And you'll see another special sound in that word sphere. It's the same kind of sound that is in your word phonics on your phonics book, it's the PH and it sounds like an F and this is called the sphere. So today you're going to be good shape detectives in your books. You're gonna look for cones and spheres and cylinders on your pages and maybe think of some real life objects that have the same kind of shape. And remembering that these ones here are special because they have curved faces on them and they can roll. So have fun working with cones, spheres and cylinders today.